Questo si chiama Franco CFA. È la moneta coloniale che la Francia stampa per 14 nazioni africane alla quale applica, alle quali applica il signoraggio e in forza delle quali sfrutta le risorse di questa nazione. Questo, questo è un bambino che lavora in una miniera d'oro in Burkina Faso. Il Burkina Faso è una delle nazioni più povere del mondo. Per il Burkina Faso che ha l'oro, la Francia stampa moneta coloniale. In cambio pretende che finiscano nelle casse del tesoro francese il 50% di tutto quello che il Burkina Faso esporta. L'oro che questo bambino si infila in un cunicolo per tirare fuori finisce per lo più nelle casse dello Stato francese. Allora la soluzione non è prendere gli africani e spostarli in Europa, la soluzione è liberare l'Africa da certi europei che la sfruttano e consentire a queste persone di vivere di quello che hanno. My friend, have you seen, have you ever seen a lady warrior? A lady warrior. When I was a kid, there was this show back home in the 90s. Zena, our warrior princess. Lady warrior. Fighting evil. Always uh, winning. <laughs> because uh, in the end it's a feel-good story. And in a feel-good story, God forbid, uh, the one that represents good to lose. No, it's not happening this way. I wish this would be as well in our real world. But uh, please, don't make any mistakes about this. Make no mistakes because when the Lord is coming back, then uh, there will be no more evil winning. Evil will be eradicated completely. But to come back to what you've seen, Giorgia Meloni, my friend, Giorgia Meloni on fire, literally tearing apart the French hypocrites. I want to say this big word that you just heard me saying french hypocrites i'm not talking about french people no i'm talking about their politicians i'm talking about globalist idiots sorry this is the word that describes him better like um, well beloved emmanuel macron emmanuel macron people like to slap him <laughs> emmanuel macron a hypocrite he had a a go at uh, Georgia Meloni for not wanting to open her country to illegal immigrants from Africa. And then Georgia Meloni, as you've seen, on fire, she went uh, in one of those uh, national TV stations in uh, Italy. Well, uh, it helps the fact that uh, the most powerful, one of the most powerful channels there, Channel uh, Rete 4, Italia 1, uh, Canale 5. They are owned by Silvio Berlusconi, Silvio Berlusconi, which is a patriot, and he is as well with Giorgia Maloney. Uh, together they fight uh, to bring Italy on the straight and narrow, to make Italy great again. <laughs> together they fight. So she took that, uh, I think, a bill, obviously there was a bill, a French bill, uh, they use that in Africa. And uh, she said about who really is taking advantage of African people and why African people is better to be left alone. They're in Africa, they're fine. They're in Africa, they have so much richness. They have diamonds and they have gold and they have precious stones and they have all these. Why uh, them to come in Europe? Why them to flood Europe? Why to come in Europe on the, if they will be just left alone, if uh, they will not be exploited anymore by governments like French government, they will be well off on their own country. And obviously they'll be well, more happy, way happier in their own country. You are way happier where you're born. You are way happier in those places that you call home. You're not happy when you are an immigrant far away from everyone that you love far away from everyone that uh, you call dear, far away from those places. Uh, the first, first time when you went to school, remember that small school? Uh, now it's, it, it seems small to you because you grew up with that. At that time, that was a big school. Remember that place? Remember all those familiar surroundings where you grow up, where you, 
first time with you. Maybe you had a girlfriend. Well, I don't know. All those kind of sweet things that are coming <laughs> to remind you of your life. You don't want to be away from your country. In Georgia, Maloney says it well. Oh, she's on fire and uh, Italian people are really blessed to have a prime minister like Giorgia Meloni. Good for her, good for her courage, good for her determination and let's hope that she'll carry on this way but uh, on some of politics. Oh, I have my reasons not to trust politicians. Politics is too dirty. Politics? Mm. <laughs> is there any politician there that you could say that this politician is really genuine? If they ever started to be genuine, then someone will make sure that they are not there in the political arena anymore. And it's about politics, they use the dirtiest tricks ever because politics means money, power, influence, dominion. Greed, my friends, greed. Politics and greed, they come together as one. It's like horror. Uh, there was this song about uh, marriage coming together. <laughs> with what coming together sometimes so with hard times yeah so that, that's what politics is it always comes together with corruption always comes together with losing your soul literally Godspeed Georgia Maloney and carry on hopefully things will get better for Italy but if you really want things to get better for Italy then remember the text from second chronicle 714 if my people, even Italian people, who are called by my name, they will humble their heart, cleanse their hands, and fulfill their wicked ways, that I, says the Lord, will hear from heaven and heal the land. Come to Jesus, Italy. See you soon, my friends. I love you. Take care. If you love what I'm doing, you know what to do. Jump, smack that subscribe button for me, friends. See you soon.